Interacting with generative AI is as simple as sending a prompt to a large language model and getting a response. That puts Salesforce customers at a huge advantage because of the rich conversation history that they have with their customers and insights that they can produce. You can use tools like ChatGPT to generate responses in no time. Here, we can ask the LLM to summarize a chat conversation that we had with a customer. However, I don't want to send personally identifiable information to the LLM, so I can manually strip out this information. This is time consuming, but kind of possible. I can also interact with the LLM via an API in the command line, but you have the same challenges here. You have PII that needs stripping out from the prompt as well as you have PII being sent over a network to the United States for processing. Now, it's very easy to use, but most businesses don't want to share PII with a third party over a connection. This is why we have introduced the Einstein Trust Layer as part of the Einstein One platform. The Einstein One platform integrates AI into every aspect of Salesforce, ensuring that developers have access to the latest technology through innovations like Hyperforce and Data Cloud. At its core, it encompasses CRM solutions like Sales Cloud and Service Cloud, and it's enhanced by the metadata framework which introduces capabilities such as Lakehouse architecture and insights from Einstein. Additionally, this platform facilitates app distribution via the App Exchange, data integrations through MuleSoft, and is accessible through tools like Slack, Tableau, and Heroku. The Trust Layer is a secure intermediary for user interactions with LLMs, masking PII, checking output toxicity, etc. But I want to show you how data flows through the Trust Layer and ensures that every interaction is controlled. And we're going to start this in code, actually. Here I am inside of a Salesforce project in Visual Studio Code. Now, as a developer, it will be easy for me and for you to interact with the Trust Layer. Here we can provide an input and then generate a response. So let's go ahead and pass in that same prompt from earlier. And here you can see all of the PII is intact. I don't need to worry about stripping this out because the Trust Layer will do it for me. We can execute this code and generate a response. And there's the summary. This is currently in a private pilot, but will be available to all dev soon. Let's check out how this works. Every prompt every that prompt runs through that run the trust layer starts out in the Einstein One platform and usually originates from one of our CRM applications, or like we just showed you with Apex. Once that prompt hits the trust layer, it goes through a multi-step process to ensure that the response is generated and sent back to the user. The first step in this before generation process is secure data retrieval. Now, if a prompt uses merge fields to pull in record data, for example, from a contact, it pulls that record data from the page context in one instance, or if that prompt starts out on the server, it pulls it in via Sockle. Then we have the next step, which is dynamic grounding. What happens with dynamic grounding is you're able to bring business logic into the transaction itself. So for example, if that prompt requires you to go out and pull data from flow or from data cloud, you can bring in that additional context in to enrich the prompt and further ground it in detail so that it's more knowledgeable about the case at hand. Then to prevent sharing PII, we use data masking. A detection tool identifies sensitive data like government IDs, replacing them with placeholders like person zero, person one, etc. The trust layer maintains this placeholder origin mapping for you. Then, once the masking is completed, we apply additional propped defense heuristics, ensuring that model responses remain reliable and avoid misleading outputs, just like this example here. Now, once this prompt is secured, it then proceeds to the LLM gateway. This manages connections with various model providers, and on reaching out to the gateway, the prompt routes to the necessary model. If sent to external models like OpenAI, the data is encrypted and never stored externally. OpenAI, our first LLM partner, operates a zero retention basis for prompts. They also have a content moderation API that flags unusual or harmful content and alerts Salesforce of this immediately. 
Once the response has been generated from the LLM gateway, it's ready to present back to the user. But first, we want to take that response and ensure that it's safe with the first step of the after generation process, and that is toxicity detection. We're going to take that response and run it through our toxicity filter to ensure that there is no harmful content, any negative language, and make sure that it's safe and secure for your users. Then we're going to take all of the data that was masked in the original step through the masking process, and we're going to rehydrate that through demasking so that all of the data, like the name, the first name, the addresses, are all put back into the response. And then it's ready to be presented back to the user. But that's not where the trust layer ends. Then we have a feedback framework in place with APIs so that you can provide feedback to that generation. So whether or not it was useful or not, whether or not it was successful is all logged and will be used for us to retrain the models and ensure that we're providing the responses that you need. Then lastly, all of this is audited. We allow you to store the prompt, any actions that were taken, the toxicity, so that you can provide trusted generative AI at scale. This is just the first step towards creating that trust between yourself, your company, and generative AI, and we can't wait to see what you start building with the trust layer.